for this next story. The San Francisco-based Church of Satan has had to make some changes to its website. It's been asked by Apple Computers to remove a Powered by Mac logo from the website. It's also been asked by Apple's lawyers to stop using its own version of Apple's Think Difference campaign. Joining us now from New York to talk more about this is the Church of Satan's webmaster. His name is Peter Gilmore. Thank you for being here today, Peter. Thank you for having me. First of all, who'd ever think the Church of Satan would be running scared from Apple? <laughs> yeah, well, it's maybe the other way around. Well, you're the ones that are dropping the uh, Powered by Mac thing. Yeah, well, you know, we, when you try to fight a corporation that has billions of dollars, that <laughs> can be intimidating. So the people who thought your two organizations had a personal relationship were obviously wrong. Well, people might think that if they look at that bite taken out of the apple, which looks like the one <laughs> Satan offered to Eve. So, it, it's we'll get we'll get back to that later. Listen, all kidding aside, the reason you were drawing attention to your uh, you know apple on your site is because you personally are a big fan, right? Yes, I am. Well, as was our founder Anton Levey. Uh, he's the one who introduced me to Apple computers and showed me that they're actually w the best alternative for creative machines. So we, I like the OS, I like the machines, and uh, they've helped me to make a beautiful and award-winning website. All right, tell us about your Think Different campaign. Who came up with that idea? And tell us specifically how it appeared on the web. Oh, well, I did that myself. Uh, essentially, Apple's Think Different campaign featured a black and white photograph of some kind of iconoclastic thinker with the phrase, Think Different, and a rainbow Apple logo. So since Anton LaVey is an iconoclast in religious thinking, I took a black and white photo of him and put the Think Different and the Apple rainbow logo. Now, this is a, a parody. It was meant to be one, and it was on our website. And um, all of the visitors to the site thought it was wonderful and thought it was funny and, and many even suggested that it's really a pity that Apple didn't have the testicular fortitude to actually use an image of Anton LaVey in the campaign. Mm -hmm. Hey Peter, it's Kristen Dahlgren here with Steve. I wanted to uh, ask you, tell us a little bit more about how Apple first approached you and told you to disassociate your site from the company. Well, about a year ago, we received a letter from one of their lawyers. It was a different firm than the current one, Arendt Fox. And they basically said that this was some kind of violation of copyright. And we explained to them that it actually wasn't, that the Made with Macintosh badges were used completely according to the guidelines of that grassroots Mac support site, as well as the Think Different campaign uh, parody, that it is a parody, but it wasn't trying to infringe on the trademarks. In fact, it was linked right up to the Apple site to lead people to Apple, who we admire. So they went away and didn't bother us for a year, and then came back in February. February, well, actually, uh, January, and uh, started arguing with us again. And we decided it wasn't worth uh, trying to get into a legal battle with them. Now, is it true that your argument to Apple in all of this is that the company is interfering with your right to religious expression? Well, in fact, our argument is that they're discriminating against a particular minority religion because the Made with Macintosh badges are used by Wiccan and Christian groups on their websites, and they haven't been approached by Apple's lawyers. So it is essentially discrimination. So how has this issue been resolved? I notice you have a link at the bottom of your webpage explaining what's going on with your battle. Well, right now, it, it's in limbo because we decided to remove the, the elements that were in dispute, but uh, we may eventually decide to restore them since, uh, according to all the lawyers we've consulted, that we are perfectly within our rights to have them. I want to go back to something you said in the beginning of the interview. You've been quoted as saying you think it's amusing that Apple uses its corporate logo, uh, an apple with a bite taken out of it. Uh, it appears to be a reference to that other famous apple, the forbidden fruit. Do you really believe that? Well, I don't really know where Apple got it from, but I think they like to play all sides to see who they can attract to their product. Ah, uh, okay. One final question. Is it true that if you play the OS X backwards, there's a secret message there? Uh, not that I know of, but you never know who might be behind that. <laughs> okay. Listen, we are an interactive show, and we have a lot of people out there in our chat room that want to ask you some questions. You want to hang in with me for a second, Peter? Certainly, certainly. Okay, let's go to the chat room first. Uh, Laura Burstein is Hi, over there. Peter, Laura, what have you got? Is, this is Laura Burstein. I'm chatting live with some people right now, and uh, Chris wants to know what kind of support or opposition you've gotten from the public. What are the general feelings out there? Have you gotten email petitions? Have people emailed you in support? What are people saying? We've gotten thousands of email from Mac users of all different philosophical persuasions, even Christians, saying they absolutely support our position and they're really furious with Apple for this stance they've taken and that they're saying that they're writing to Apple and complaining because they're, they're furious with the company for doing this. Our fans also want to know if there's, if you have any idea what kind of traffic uh, your website has gotten. Has your traffic gone up since this controversy has started? Are people kind of curious? Definitely. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's become a rather major news issue uh, on the Internet now, so the traffic has definitely increased. But we don't do too bad in the meantime. All right. Thanks to Laura. Thanks to our viewers for asking some questions. And I guess your, your, uh, your uh, traffic is going to go up as of today. Thank you very much, Peter, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Peter Gilmore is the webmaster for the Church of Satan.